Hello, everybody. How's it going out there in the world? Hope everybody's having a great day today. I'm having a good one. Um, just doing a little tending to the garden here. We had some, I came down here, you know, and I was just like looking and stuff was getting all kind of out of control over here. I've been giving away some plants, luckily. And uh, it's all the space I got, you know. And um, stuff was just growing, shading, crowding. It was getting out of control. So I'm like, okay, how can I do this? You, you know, typically this time of year, I've already brought stuff outdoors. Not planted in the ground, mind you. Not planted in the ground. But I bring it outdoors and I harden it, okay? That's when I take the plants outside and let them get used to the outdoor environment. And here they, they're babied, you know? I have the fan off right now. There's usually a fan going. But they don't get the harsh sun. They don't get the you know blustery winds and and things like that. Um, you know, just outdoor stuff, you know. And so they need to be babied. They need to be strengthened, hardened, so to speak. So you bring them outside, and I put them underneath like a, a pine tree, a shaded uh, spruce tree, and they don't get full sun. They get they get dappled sun, and as the sun moves across the the sky. The shadows move with it, and the sun spots move with it too. So there's not direct sun on any one spot for too long, and it really helps the plants get used to the strong sunlight. And also, then you know, I leave them out for a while, and then typically they go in the dirt. Boom, in the dirt. Uh, first week of June. That way, I know there's no frost gonna come kill them. Cause I've done that before. I planted on June first before, and that was a big mistake because. I did not have enough tarps to cover the entire garden. And guess what, guys? Everything got cute. It got cute. So I'm going doing my typical thing, and I'm so sorry for that, but I'm, I'm so long-winded. I'm so sorry. God, I don't know what to do with myself sometimes, guys. Um, the purpose of this video was just to show you guys. I know last year, when I was uh, during, you know, the height of COVID times, um... I was, uh, somebody, you know, I was showing some people this and somebody in the chat said, Hey, can you show me some pruning? And at that point, you know, I'd kind of already done a lot of the pruning and, uh, so I'm doing it now. I apologize. It's taken so long, you know, but here we are. So this plant has been, look at these ones back here, by the way, these little beauties have been pruned up nicely. Now there's two types of pruning that you want to do. Look at all the juice flowing out these stems. You see that? It's pretty cool. Those are healthy plants right there. Um, <clears throat> two types of pruning on on tomato plants there's the type of pruning you're going to want to do to promote more vigorous growth more shoots and that's what i've been doing and, and and also to you know let more light get in that's a good method taking off the big leaves and chopping the stem okay this one's been pruned to my liking right there this thing just had tons and tons and tons of huge leaves on it look at this thing it's a five gallon bucket pretty much you know, over halfway full. Um, so let me just explain this to you a little bit better. We're gonna go through and we're gonna show you guys how to prune. Look at this, look at that little beauty. See that thing right there? See that, this is a San Marzano, I believe. Let's see here. Yes, this is a San Marzano. This is gonna be nice for making sauces. This is a sauce tomato, good flavor. Great for pizza sauce. Um, anyway. We're going to go through here and I'm going to show you first how to trim this plant for, okay, are you following me guys? Are you following me here? I'm going to show you how to trim this plant for more vigorous growth, okay, and to let some more light in. That, that's what we're going to be doing at this stage of the game. Once the plants develop and they're producing fruit and you want them to stop making more shoots and put their attention and their vigor towards ripening the fruit that's on there. There's a different type of pruning and that's where you're gonna to wanna to cut back all the suckers and all the new shoots to, you know, you're gonna to wanna to halt the new growth and you're gonna to wanna to put the energy of the plant towards the fruit. And we're not doing that right now. We're just trying to get these things bushy and healthy. You can see here, this thing has one, two, three, I believe three individual seeds were planted in here. So there's actually three different tomato plants and every single seed creates a slightly different tomato. Even though they're almost indistinguishable from one another, they are not clones. They are 
seeds. So there's three different types of San Marzano plants in here, even though they are genetically supposed to be the same. They're slightly different. Each one is just a little teeny tiny bit different. I probably won't be able to tell the difference. Oh, I'm so long-winded. So this is a San Marzano. This is gonna be kind of what you're gonna be looking at for the finished product. Um, from this, you're gonna be basically going from something like this over to something like this. So first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys, we're gonna go through and these big fat fan leaves, see this thing? That Nothing's gonna grow on this thing. That's just to catch sun and to shade the plant. Yeah, that's, what it's, that's what it's for, it's, uh, that's all it's for. The, the fruit does not develop on these bad boys. It will develop on something smaller like this. The flowers will come out, tomatoes will start um, pr producing off the ends here. That thing is a side branch, okay? See it? I can't really tell if I'm looking at this the right way. That sucker is not a sucker, that's just the fan leaf. This is a sucker. But I just like calling everything sucker, you know? It's fun. Uh, I'm going to go through and I'm going to cut off all these big ass leaves. Let's call them that. That way there's no guessing. There's no guesswork here. These are some big ass leaves. I'm going to cut these off. Okay. All right. I'm one handed here. Here we go. Got this. I'm just going to come in here like this and just try to get it as close to in there to the next shoot as possible. Boom. All right, just gonna go in here. Careful not to cut any of the new shoots off. And we're just going to, oh, 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 boom, 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 boom. Alrighty, just like that. I don't even know what I'm doing. All right, let's see what we got here. Clean this up a little bit. This, look at all this. This is what you call vegetation. Okay, guys? All right. Now, get back in here. We are going to continue just going nice and tight there. Um, just going to get all the, the big ass leaves off, guys. The big ass leaves off the plant. Is that enough? I don't know. This one's looking a little bit. I must have done something there. So it's looking a little peaked. Anyway, take that off there. Take some of the weight off. Uh, what else we got? There's a couple older growth leaves on this one here. Oh, that one, that one can stay. We'll leave that. That's its own little, its own little guy. Now, let's put this stuff aside. Okay, there you go. Right over there. Now. This plant is not done being pruned yet because there's some shoots that need to be hacked off. Okay, still, if you cut this thing right here, then new shoots will develop in all the crotches of these branches. These will become the big fat ass leaves and a new growth will come out there. And that's what we want. We want to, first of all, we're trying to afford some more real estate in here. So we're going to chop this thing down a little bit but we're also going to try to promote growth in between the nodes that's that's a node and right there will boom sprout a new little bastard okay so let's get at it i'm just going to take the scissors and i'm looking at this here and i'm saying okay boom boom i can afford that i'm just going to chop that off there chop that off there just like that fat ass leaf gone cut this fat ass leaf off and now this is going to actually let a lot more light into this lower stuff here we're promoting a lot of um growth sites here that's what we're doing just one little trim piece at a time this bastard see ya bye now um let's see here doom to doom uh, fat ass leaf bye bye <laughs> that top there see ya this top here wow boom 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 she's done she's done all right clean that up there 
guys, try to keep your grow environment. If anybody's out there growing stuff, just try to keep it clean. I clean this down probably once every week or two. Take all the plants off. I got a separate table over here. I bring in just for the purpose and um, just throw everything on here. Clean the table off. Get it nice and clean. You know, look at this broccoli. This broccoli is ridiculous. I got to do something. Nobody want any broccoli? Sausage. Okay. I was watching, guys, Fantasy Island. I don't know if you guys watch any episodes of Fantasy Island, but holy cow. Look at Mr. Work. <laughs> Gotta love it, guys. Gotta love it. There's more plants over here. So basically what I'm doing here is uh, I'm just going to trim, prune, any plant that I can. Basically, they're all going to be tomato plants that I'm pruning. And uh, see that there? See that right there? Like, that's a thing of beauty. That's a thing of beauty. Those plants... We're crowding this whole entire table up so much because they had so much um, leaf of vegetation on it. I'm gonna hack this bad boy down. What is this? Beefsteak. That thing's gonna look like a sorry little son of a gun when I'm done with it. It's gonna look sorry. Don't worry about it. Okay. This isn't the this isn't the end result, guys. This isn't the end result. We want the end result is gonna be bomb. Trust me. Look at this little thing down here. See that thing? Let's get it out here. Come here. Come here, you. What is this? This is a <laughs> Cosmonaut Volkov. I don't know why I picked this one, but I did. Cosmonaut Volkov. Anybody know anything about these? I don't know. This could stand to use a little bit of more fluff dirt on the top here. You can see the roots are starting to uh, get exposed here on the top. So I, I should cover this up with just a little fluff on the top. And you can see none of these planters are filled to the top. And that's because when you water them, you want to be able to dump some water in there, fill it up to about here, and let it slowly ooze down in. You can't do that if there's if there's dirt all the way to the top. You start to pour a bunch of water on there, and guess what? Yeah, it'll it'll overflow everywhere. So this thing here is gonna be a precious little gem. It looks like it looks like shit. I know it does, but this thing will be a precious little gem trust me this thing is gonna all these shoots are gonna pop and in a week's time let's check up on this thing next sunday sorry for the long video guys i get excited i love you guys so much really you don't know how much fun this is for me and jake to just have you in our lives and have fun with you guys it's like uh means a lot so sorry this isn't bigfoot content but you know how we roll we want to put stuff up we want to show you guys what we're all about not just Bigfoot, but just other stuff too. So, God, see, you don't you don't really trim broccoli. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I got two different types of broccoli. This is your Batavia, and then I have an Eastern Magic variety too. But they're both doing great. Jeez, got to get these things out of here. Oh boy, I gotta plant the next round of broccoli right about now. This is what I do. I, I do an early, and then I plant new broccoli like right now. And then these, when these things get harvested, you just chop the heads off, pull these out, shake off the dirt, and you put a new plant right back in there. So you get two or three har harvests of broccoli in the year. Works awesome. Highly recommend it. First planting, do that. Uh, you know, maybe. Beginning of uh, February, and then the second um, planting on about the uh, you know St. Patrick's Day, and then what's today? Today's like May, beginning of May. Then maybe another one at the beginning of May, and you can probably do one in the beginning of June too. And you up here in the Northeast, and you can probably get away with that as well. This is it. this is the end. I can I could go on and on in here. Really, I could go on and 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 on. No. Okay? But I'm not going to. I'm not going to.